Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix stuttering issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to switch frame generation to FSR and you can keep the upscale type to DLSS. You can try this. If this does not work, in that case, you can set FPS. You can lock the FPS in the game just two to three FPS lower than your monitor's refresh rate. So if you are, for example, if your monitor is 240 Hz, then in that case, you can keep the FPS maybe 238 or 237 in the game. And you can keep the DLSS plus frame generation and you can try with VSync on and off. So if you launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to options over here and then go to video over here and then scroll down over here you can see upscaler type you can set upscaler keep it dlss and over here you can see frame generation so you can keep frame, uh, you can switch to fsr so keep frame generation to fsr and then make sure that you apply so hit apply you have to save you have to save the settings and then you can check if that does not work you can go to fps limiter you can turn this on suppose your monitor refresh rate is like 240 hertz in that case you can keep the fps uh, like maybe you can if it's 240 then we will just lower it down to maybe 238 or maybe 237 just keep it two to three just lower it down and then you can apply the settings over here and then you can check Now still not working. In that case, the next step is to move or install the game to SSD. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. SSD is required. Now for this, you can go to Steam and then if the game is on HDD, in that case, you can go to Steam settings and then go to storage. And over here, make sure your uh, SSD is connected and then select the game from the list over here. And then you can click on move. Now if the game is installed in C drive, and that is HDD. And if you have any external SSD, you should be able to see your external SSD over here. And you can move the game to another SSD and then check. Now, if the game is installed to another like external SSD or different SSD, in that case, you can you can install the game. You can move the game to C drive if C drive is SSD. So try to move the game or you can even uninstall and reinstall the game to SSD and then check. Next step is to set render mode to D3, D12 or D3, D11. Now for this, uh, you can go to File Explorer and then go to this uh, Open File Explorer, go to Documents, open, open the game folder, Out, Settings, and you will see Video, make a right click and then Edit in Notepad and then scroll down and if it is set to like d3 d11 you can try d3 d12 over here click on file click on save launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try d3 d11 over here click on file click on save and then launch the game you can do this and you can even try window mode so you can edit in notepad and you can set the window mode to zero over here set it to zero and then click on file then click on save launch the game and then check not working in that case you can try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx11 launch the game and then check still not working remove this the next step is to uh, if you're using gsync or uh, freesync uh, you can disable it and then launch the game if you have any third party application running close it if you have any overclocking or overlay application running like NVIDIA app, Steel Series, GG, MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner. Do not overclock. You can set it to default and then you can close all the overlay and overclocking application. Rename the settings folder. If that does not work, in that case, you can go to File Explorer once again and then you can go back and then you can make a right click on settings. All the saved settings will be lost when you do so. Settings.old, you can just rename it, relaunch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the stuttering issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.